Hello ladies and gents, another video brought to you by Ants Hood and this one's saying goodbye to my Legis Nigers. It's that time of year where most of our native ants go into hibernation, well, or at very least start lowering the temperature for hibernation. And this is the last of my native species that is still not going down the temperature cool down thingy-majiggy that you do with them. The reason for this is because their old test tube had already dried up. I, I can't remember when I caught this queen, to be fair. I think it was probably July, and already the test tube was dried. Normally they last a while. But anyway, she needed to move. So I connected two test tubes up together and put her in some direct light, and it still took her two weeks to move. I mean, talk about being stubborn. I mean, this Niger, she's, she's already picked up that she's going to be a stubborn ass to move. Urgh. Now I've had them on the window sill, so they've already started to cool down a little bit, but I knew they'd want some food because with the test tubes connected together, I couldn't feed them. So I gave them a nice healthy dump of honey water, as you can see here, and then just watched them feed on it. Now I had to stop it because I moved all over the place trying to get the bloody uh, cotton thing back in, but they'd already drank loads of it. And wait until you see them feed the queen. I mean, she practically sucks the life out of the... Um, work rants through trof trophallaxis i think it's called if I pronounce that right you'll probably know better because you guys are smarter than me it always amazes me when i watch the ants feed how much the abdomen swell up i mean it's not quite the honey <laughs> sorry still a bit sensitive the honey pot ant scale but it's still pretty impressive especially for such a small ant now it's not actually their own stomach that swells up here, it's their social stomach that swells up with all the food. And then they transport it around and feed the other workers. As you can see going on here, I think one's trying to do a bit of a freeway uh, and get involved there. But generally speaking, the one on the right's got the swelled up abdomen with all the food and the one on the left wants feeding. But like I said, just wait until you see the queen eat. I mean, I, I couldn't get over how quickly she just sucks the life out of the workers. <laughs> It's really interesting. It'll be coming up in a bit anyway. I'll show you in a second. I did stop my main recording and start doing a time lapse just as I seen this ant get its head stuck in the honey. Now the time lapse was like three seconds, so it wasn't really worth putting in the video. But what I decided to do was go back to normal filming and just follow this worker around to see what she did with, with all the honey all over. If a workers came to help her out, if she just got left to it, or maybe even if she just like ended up just giving up and dying. I did find this really interesting. Now, I'm not going to talk through all of it, but just watch and I'll, I'll talk to you on the key points. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed it, she dragged her head along the floor to try and get the excess um, honey off, and now she's putting her head against the cotton wall, hope, thinking to absorb it off, I don't know. But then the other workers come along, and they have done it periodically throughout this bit where I've been quiet, did come over and start cleaning her a little bit, but this is where they're really going to town on cleaning her up. As you can see, her antennas are stuck together, but now when this worker comes along, there you go, just get it in focus, you'll see that her antennas have started to free up now. So she's started to clean herself off. All the others are still cleaning her, and they're really helping her out, which is really good news. Now, it kind of surprised me how quickly she cleaned herself up with the help of her fellow nest mates and stuff like that. She was fairly cleaned off and then started with a normal de uh, nesty duties, if you want to call it that. Now, I'm not sure who's feeding who here because they've both got swallowed up admins, but she does go straight to the queen and starts feeding the queen. So obviously she's just cracking on with a normal business now. Now, if you look at the admin of the ant feeding the queen, it goes down really quickly. Now, it's not so noticeable here because I've got other ants obscuring the view, etc, etc, etc. But you'll see it in, uh, shortly where the queen literally sucks the life out of an ant to get all the food out of its social stomach. Thank you. 
No, I had a bit of confusion here. I didn't know what was going on because it kind of looked like when I first seen this that the Queen was eating a worker. She wasn't. She was just being fed by a worker. But when, if you look at this worker here, just as she starts now feeding, the admin shrinks so quickly. So it kind of gave me the impression the Queen was starving, uh, probably because I hadn't fed them for a while, but she was really hungry. So I decided after this to stick some more honey in there and then put them in the first stage of cooling down in the fridge. So once I've fed her another bit of honey, I cover her up and then I stick her in the first stage of me cooling my ants down before they go into the hibernation temperature at 5 to 7 degrees. This fridge here keeps them at around 10 to 13 degrees depending what the ambient room temperature is. So it's a good first stage to cool them down without giving them the shock of killing them. Which will happen if you stick them in the fridge straight in at 5 to 7 degrees. They need to be lowered gradually guys. It's about four hours since I put it in the fridge and I couldn't resist one last look as I took out the foil as well. So this is after they've all been fed, four hours in the fridge and this is generally the last time I see them. It's going to be sad to say goodbye to the Nigers because they've been so much fun this summer. So many escapes and stuff like that with the different outworlds I was trying, but it's time they went bed. Now this is my table that I hold all my native species on empty they're all in the fridge ready to settle down for winter time to start making models but don't worry fellow hoodies i've still got my tropical ants that i can do content with so there will still be videos coming out fairly regularly and i've also got a new exotic species coming once they're available on the website but i'll tell you more about them when they get here but that's it for today then guys please check out my facebook group ants hood and my instagram page what's that called hashtag Ants hood, one word. I don't, this modern technology malarkey, is, I, I don't get it. I, I, just, I just want to post videos of ants. That's what I want to do. Anyway, enough of my dribble. Bye-bye for now, guys.